before. Capito? Yeah, what are you asking me? I'm an executive assistant for Kangan Institute. My name's Marie Romeo. Is, are we filming? Because yeah. I was mucking around. <laughs> My name's Marie Romeo. I work at Kangan Institute as an executive assistant. Uh, yes, I have. Been waxed. <laughs> Do it again. Yes, I have been waxed and treated before. I'm getting done an eyebrow wax and a tint. A friend told me about the original house wax, so um, yeah, I thought why not give it a go? I live around the corner, so yeah. Let's go! Oh, oh, oh. part of New York did you like the most? I enjoyed going to Harlem. Harlem. We, we, you know when you see the church and they go, um, praise the Lord. Yes. Well, we actually oh, went to wow. a Harlem, um, you know, the gospel singers. We went to see some gospel singers and things like that. And it was in a church. And so what we always see on TV, you know, praise the Lord. You know, they actually stand up and do that. It was quite like... You've got to be respectful. Of and, course. Um, you know, it was great to watch. It was fun. <laughs> so did you get up and sing? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's been really good about seeing you consistently. That's what I didn't have before. Yeah, it was sort of patchy and everywhere. Yeah, little, I they think. were all over. And like, you know, I wasn't happy at all. But seeing you, you've gotten to know me, my sh the shape I like. And so, yeah, we're in a good place. <laughs> it makes a difference, I think. I think so too, to the whole experience. Yeah. Mm. Capito? Let's go! Come si dice in italiano? So we're going to go down first with your tint, just coat the hairs downwards. And then we'll go up, lovely. Yeah. Let's just make sure that we coat every single hair. Yeah. They've been looking great, like, since you've started tinting them too. They just stand out, like, yeah. in a nice way. Give some more definition. Mm. Structure to your face. developing. Yeah, you got to develop. <laughs> now once you've put your tint on, it's good to work quite quickly mm. and you're going to clean up the shape as much as you can, okay? Yeah. So I like to use um, one of these brow beaters and we're going to follow the line and sharpen it off. Any tint that is left on your spatula, add back to the brow and make sure it's all coated.
nice and wet now. There you go. Mm. You don't want to drown yet? No. Hydro mist. It smells nice too. They're gorgeous. Oh, that is beautiful. I really like that. They really stand out. I Lifted on a bit darker, so it's really defined. I just tried to match the roots as much yeah, as yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah. Some people would have gone for this colour here, no. but I think it's better that we go for the Yeah, because then when you've got your makeup on as yeah. well, yeah. You know, they look good. So see the little dash I can see it. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. good. It looks natural. It does look natural. Oh, it's fantastic. I'm really happy with the result. I'm actually going to catch up with some friends. Um, what? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Thank you, Michael and David. I just love seeing you guys. It's so it's near. <laughs> Good afternoon, this is Sandra Anderson reporting for the original House of Wax. Some great news, uh, we have a little man by the name of Sam coming in tomorrow to have his makeup done. We're looking forward and hopefully Sam will have a wonderful experience at the original House of Wax. This is Sandra Anderson signing off. Good day. Tonight, tonight is a Batman night. Everyone feeling good and all right. Tonight is a special This is the first time I'm meeting Sam today and the first time I've done a full glam look on a male. I hope he's really happy. I've never done makeup on somebody with a beard, so being able to contour his cheeks and lift them as well as make the makeup naturally fade into his beard is going to be quite a challenge for me, but I'm up for it and I hope that he leaves loving his look. He's got really brown eyes and he's asked for a warm look. Today I'm going to do warmer tones as he's asked for them, as well as a black line for a bit more of a, a dramatic effect for him. So my name's Sam Gasteris. Um, I'm currently a student, but I do love doing makeup. I have a passion for it. Growing up, I was always involved in arts in primary school. I was a visual arts captain. And I think um, that's when I eventually started dabbling with makeup. Art and makeup are hand in hand because not many people consider it as an art, but makeup is an art. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Um, so I am a big lover of Ariana Grande, as you can see. I've got her merchandise on now. Um, I always steer to her for her makeup looks because she's so like subtle but beautiful and elegant. So I really love that. In my spare time I made a spoof of her music video and she actually featured me on her Instagram to her like 120 billion followers. So that was really crazy. Um, so I actually heard of Michael and David through my cousins, their clients here. And um, yeah, I thought I had to come. I'm really excited, like it's, it's new for me because I've never actually, like I said, gotten it done professionally, my makeup. So I'm really excited to see how it turns out. Um, it'd be really good to watch Michael today learn some new techniques from a professional artist. 
So I'm probably going to steal some tips and tricks from Michael today. He better be shaking in his boots because I'm going to take over the House of Wax. So I am kind of want to go for a warm look. I think that complements me best. Yeah. Your beautiful brown eyes will bring them yeah. out. Do a bit of a contour as well today. Okay. Sam has really brown eyes, so we're going to go for warm tones. I'm going to bring out that colour and really lift his cheeks and make him look really fabulous. Ashes? Yeah, sure. We'll go all out. Mm -hmm. okay. Gorge. Full glam. Did you get dizzy watching her film clip? The new one for this song? I loved it. It's so beautiful. It's you up when you watch it. Yeah, a little bit. Did you get dizzy? Oh, I'm not that dizzy, but like, it's pretty dizzy. Pretty dizzy. <laughs> like you're crying diamonds. I hope you don't mind. Oh my god. Who is she? That is amazing. I look like a doll. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh my god. Goodness. And the lashes, oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. This is really good. Like, I can't stop looking at myself. I need a, I need a bigger mirror. Okay. <laughs> uh, amazing. As you can tell. So yeah. like a doll absolutely oh my god five star hundred percent gonna tell everyone about it everyone better come start lighting up because michael killed it he killed it by porcelain dolls are shaking amazing i feel so like i don't know like i feel like a bad bitch you know what i mean like just gorge absolutely i'm definitely coming back Thank you so much, Michael, for making me feel beautiful. I love it, because Sam said I'd be shaking my boots, and by the time he left, even porcelain dolls were shaking. I think Sam was pleasantly surprised with his makeup. I think he loved the look. He's been replicating it since, so I think he was really, really happy. 
Sam did say he'd come back to get his brows done here because he needs to just adjust them slightly. We did fill them in. They looked amazing when he left. I'd love to get that back with natural hair. So hopefully he books in soon for his brows and we'll see him again. It's refreshing nowadays to see men using makeup and wearing it daily. To my knowledge, makeup was originally worn by kings and it showed that they were wealthy and that they were royal. Over the years, it obviously filtered to women and then it basically became unacceptable for men to wear makeup at one stage to a lot of people. It's now something that's sometimes very taboo, but I think it's becoming a lot more accepted in today's society whether it's full glam or just a guy who wants to put a bit of concealer under his eyes, I think it's important for us to always feel our best and look our best. Watch me rise. I've had people come into the store and ask me about the furniture here. Most of it I was able to pick up online. Some of the pieces hold a lot of sentimental value to me. This includes a bar that has two roosters on it, as well as two lions I was recently given. These all come from my nonno and nonna, which is my grandmother and grandfather from my Italian side. These pieces mean a lot to me as they were from their house and I feel like when they're in the store they give me great power and a sense that family is always very close to me. I decided to give the lions a bit of a respray and really make them my own so that they fit in with the space because they remind me of family and they remind me of the support around me and to always be strong and never be afraid to be courageous and take risks. That's what the lion means to me. And they are something that I will always hold very dear and special. But it is an Italian thing or European thing, especially here in Reservoir, to have either eagles or lions on the fronts of your gates. So these two lions had come from my, my grandparents' front gates and my uncles took them down for me just so that I could have them um, with me always. Oh, aren't they fucking annoying? It's the Cambridge Cross. You're undignified. You're a slut. But you're having sex with five guys, right? How can I not call you a slut? Being a boss doesn't mean you have to be bossy. It just means that you're an independent person who is not afraid to take risks and confront issues and tackle things head on. It also involves sometimes making very hard decisions and you have to be very strong. You know, when you first start a business, it's very hard. You have days with no customers and you always try to build the business as many ways as you can. But sometimes when you slack off even a day or two and think that, you know, 
people will come, still they won't. So you've always got to keep pushing and make sure that you constantly try to be the best you can be and continue word of mouth. Word of mouth has been the most important thing in growing my business as it is people who talk that have helped me grow and brought more business here. <laughs> no, honey. Oh! That's good. Get up, get Caribbean. Thank you. You look fresh. Turn your mic off. Goodbye. You're my beautiful. I could care less about that brow. Goodbye. Well, help me out. Drinks, I can't breathe. I'm addicted to you inside.